it guys. <laughs> uh, you may hear wind again. I guess it's springtime, you expect windy days, but almost every time I do video it seems to be windy. Uh, anyway, the prime purpose of this video is to turn a second ball with the Mark II boring head version. I've made some new tooling which uh, on first test is quite encouraging. The um, Mark I ball turner, I've made some new tooling for that which also helps but again I'm limited on the uh, swing towards the chuck for uh, access for the tool so that, that's probably almost going to be abandoned but I may tighten it up yet. So anyway I'm going to start off with just a few odds and ends and then I'll set up the uh, blank that I've made, set that up in the fore jaw like I did last time and uh, we'll try and turn a ball with the new tooling. Here I'll listen to that. Ha ha ha! Sun shining, I suppose that's a bonus. Okay. Alright, the first thing on catch up here is uh, the tooling I've made for this. It's just a piece of 3 8 and I've ground that to a fairly conventional, there's no back relief on the uh, top here, but it actually cuts quite well, so it's an improvement. Incidentally, the hole, to make the hole, I got one of these. It's an R2, it'll just about drill in thing. I saw somebody else using one been <laughs> drilling through a piece of uh, drill rod and I managed to get this through the uh, HSS pretty difficult, gets damn hot but it works I'm quite impressed with it, it's got a carbide tip uh, so that's, uh, that's this one with a different tool now this may or may not show, I can't see whether it will, I think so hang on a minute that's what I've done with the tooling on the boring head so we've got a half inch which has been drilled at an angle I think the final angle actually is about 10 degrees to give the necessary angling on the tool bit tool bit is a piece of uh, Yes, the uh, tool bit is a piece of square, 3 16 square, uh, and by using a diamond lap on the corners, it fits my quarter inch drilling in here. And we've got a grub screw to retain it. Uh, there's a little bit of leeway for rotation of the tip. And at the moment, I've got it set up fairly well, I think, so I'm not going to take it apart to show you. Uh, I'll show it to you in situ. It's a sort of sort of grind which was visualized with regard to how it presents to the workpiece. Generally it cuts quite well if the cut isn't too big and chatter is fairly minimal. I haven't yet done a full ball, I just did some tests on the end of a a piece of round so I'm going to set up the four jaw and uh, see what we can do well the one thing that is I think always going to be a little bit difficult is uh, starting off getting these corners out of the way uh, the tools taking a sort of a bleak slicing cut in that situation but I found when I did a first test that the performance improves as we get further on so uh, I've made a start here I'm going to take it further and then we'll come back and shoot a bit more video on it well still not the ideal tool but it's better than the other one and it's a worthwhile experiment the uh, adjustment of it this way because I've got an oblique face Got to try and find the sweet spot. That's the main thing.
getting a little bit of chatter on there at the moment. There's an ideal speed and feed. It doesn't chatter every time. And I, I'm mainly concerned with uh, material removal at the moment, so make a fairly quick cut. Not feeding in too much, but we'll go on further and we should be able to get a cleaner cut towards the end. I'm getting close to uh, my peg diameter here, so I'm working at this end on its own just for a little bit and started using a bit of oil just to try and ease the cut slightly. further to go on that and then uh, see if we can finish that in without too much chatter. I <clears throat> worked on the rear here quite a bit, almost as far as I can go, uh, concentrating on this front section. Still getting a bit of chatter now and again, depends on the uh, feed rate etc. So not the ideal tool but it's a damn sight better than the a <laughs> boring bar I used first time. So I'm just going to carry on, try and get this through to completion here as close as I can. I've no doubt, although somebody said I shouldn't have to bother with abrasive papers for finishing, but I think even so there's going to be some tooling to polish off. Maybe not as aggressively as the last one. So we're getting fairly close. You may or may not see some chatter on there. It's very slight, you can't see it unless you look close. So the tooling is doing better, way better, but not perfect. So I'll have to come up with another design of grind, I think, at some point. But I can still use this uh, holder for an angled piece of 3 16th, seems fairly convenient. Almost there, I'm just taking some. Uh, pretty small finishing cuts and trying to avoid chatter. It looks like my setup isn't quite spot on. I haven't quite got to my centre on there, although I'm meeting up in the middle, just about there. So I might just uh, tool that locally and blend it in. Setting up is certainly quite a difficult job. Some people are probably better at it than I am. This is only the second second one of these I've made. So I'm just going to tidy up a little bit and then hopefully just a fairly minor polish. Okay, well we're nearly there. Overall it's not a bad finish. So there's a little bit of chatter but uh, my settings on the uh, setup here were probably not quite spot on. I haven't quite reached the centre there so I should probably cheat. <laughs> so there'll be another incarnation yet with some other tooling but anyway it was interesting to try something a little bit better so there we are a bit of polishing cream compound and uh, managed to blend in a little bit here that I'd missed which wasn't very much and uh, still a certain amount of machining marks here and there. Certainly right in by, by the thread there, it's not an easy area either from the tooling point of view or um, I've got a slight spot at the end. I may have got a, still got a little, uh, little spot there. That was the end result of uh, facing off the blank. Anyway, overall Cutting was better, albeit rather minimal cuts. With the right tool I think we could take much bigger cuts. 
Somebody's probably got a much better idea for tooling, but I'll work on that. Here we are. Thanks for watching.